God, I'm so excited. Yeah? Well, uh, the, the Jamie and the Pips are going to Denver. Oh, that's right, yeah. that's right. Yes, we're very excited about that. Um, Jamie and the Miniature Pips are going to Superstition Mountain. What? That's where I'm going, Superstition Mountain in Oh, Arizona. Superstition Mountain. Yeah. I thought you said Superstation. Yeah, we're busting out the hits in Mesa, Arizona. Jack, do we have all the details about Denver? Because I'd like to go over our little timeline here shortly. You I know? can get them for you. Yeah. All right, that'd be terrific. But yeah, because we got lots to do. Whoa. Yeah. What time are you guys leaving? As soon as, like 10.01 a.m. Yeah. Do you know what? Today is the big day where I get to cater the, the star lunch. I know. And Jack, none of us will be here. Jack told you to bring pizza early. Yeah, I know. And you promised. I did not. Did I? Oh, my God. That's different from promising. Oh, my God. It was a whole thing. No problem. I'm the owner. Yeah, no problem. I'm the owner. It was all like it was like a a break, and then there was another break. It's like, Jack, you think I would let you down? Of course I'll bring you pizza early. And I will. (laughs) Yeah, we went on and on about how we love the pizza. No problem. You keep saying how much you love the pizza. Everybody can have it early. Uh, (laughs) Absolutely. I remember clearly. That's scary. No, I totally remember saying I could do it. That's <laughs> I just scary. didn't do anything about it. Wow. And it was even part of Stench's like closing. Wow. <laughs> I feel shame. I feel shame. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel sorry for your wife when you say, no, I did not. <laughs> oh, well, that's my first reaction to everything. I did not. Are you insane? But now I forgot that we're on the radio and people are listening, yeah. and I totally did. <laughs> and thank God for witnesses, Jack. I yeah. got your back. <laughs> yeah, because I'd have insisted had there. You know, I had a second to think about it. I went, there's no way out of this. You did this. You suck. You have to take care of this. Wow. Yeah, because. Darren, if you're up, I'd start cooking right now. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so we'll get the whole breakdown for those of you in Denver of everything we're going to do. Uh, girls' night out tonight. Guys' night out tonight. First ever, I think, with you guys, right? Like for a bunch of uh, games. Yeah, first, like where we take guys, not where we went with a bunch of girls to <laughs> yeah, a play one that, time. That's happened. Yeah. No, you were out of town. You were. Remember? Well, my mom was dying, yeah. Yeah, and we did <laughs> Aida or something like that. And it was Stench and I and about a dozen girls. Well, like that time, and then when I also quit my job here. I was thinking <laughs> that. Daddy, and then Danny was in charge of that one. I was thinking, I've never even done a uh, guy's night out. The closest I've come is when Jamie quit, I showed that movie. <laughs> oh, my God. One happy, one sad. Right. You figure it out. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. <laughs> anyway, I was here, and I don't know which one. Um, Lots going on this morning. You know, I really... um. It's funny because I don't usually listen to our best of when we drive in. Me either. I listen to the news. I do too. Uh, I I pick up the the 5 a.m. news feed, and uh, that's why I listen to it at 5 a.m. Well, um, I pretty much like had already heard all the crap at 5 a.m. There's no new common news. There's just... Oh, right. Yeah, right. Same old stuff going yeah on. they yeah. beat that guy. And, and uh, yeah, and so I thought, well, I'll flip around, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's in commercials, and there we were. And I don't like to listen only because uh, then you critique yourself, and y'all can imagine how right. you would do that. So I don't want to do that. So I started listening. We go, oh, do you do this? Oh, my God, we suck. No, I, I always go, okay, why'd you say that? That was stupid. Really? Yeah. I just, I can't bear it. It's like a dentist drill to me, listening to us on the radio. Yeah. But and then, any of my own shows either, before I'm not, you know, us as a team, just, I can't bear it. But, you know, they say even, like, musicians don't like to listen to their own stuff. Right. And this isn't even close to that crap. Yeah. This ain't music, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> right. And that's all mixed. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> You know, it's like perfect, <laughs> and they still don't listen. And ours is raw. Uh, so we, I was driving in, and remember the SS Michael? Yes. Did clearly. you hear that this morning? Uh-huh. Well, first of all, I was like, that guy was the most beautiful man I've ever dated in my life. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god, I totally forgot about him. He called about a month or two. Well, no, it was because I was with Builder Bob, so about. Four or five months ago, but I didn't return the call because I was being good. Because you were being faithful. This is the second oh, person. Yeah. Right. And this was the most beautiful one ever. Oh, the most beautiful man in the world. I mean, he was just so smoking hot. And um, and I forgot about how his friend Jen, the fat chick, and we just, remember he had a fat chick named mm-hmm. Jen. And, and Jack pegged her, so to speak, because he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and it was just really a tragedy. But I remember... <laughs> I remember what I loved most about the SS Michael and what I hated the most about the SS Michael. And I can't figure this out. All right. I loved that the SS Michael loved love. 
He just wanted to be with one person, settle down, be married, spend the rest of his life with a woman. He just, I mean, you knew that if, if you and he fell in love and connected, he would be faithful like a dog and just be at your every beck and call, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he loved love. Okay. The thing I hate about the S's, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Is that he'd be your bitch, <laughs> and he'd sit there, and, and if you go sit or stay, he'd be like, "Okay, I'm sorry. Are you mad at me?" Yeah, my dog has even stopped doing that. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean. Like I just, I mean, that's the. He was beautiful. He loved love. He wanted to settle down. All, but you also could like, well, you could push him around. Yeah, that's a problem. I hate that. Like in an, and, and I mean, I. I I wouldn't because he's too cute to do it to. <laughs> but you just sort of like have some cojones or however you guys say it. Cojones, close right? enough. Yeah, cojones. And what do you mean however you guys say it? We guys don't say it. Who says it? Uh, Lithuanians. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, and so it was just, he was so cute. Yeah. I think I might have to recycle. Oh, I think you might. There was that whole playgirl. Yeah. And there was the half shirt. Uh, it wasn't a half shirt. It it wasn't a half shirt. Okay. Baby I was wondering, <laughs> is it a half shirt or is it the diapers? You know, I thought about it, and maybe I was far too judgmental. I thought so. <laughs> He's so handsome. It was Halloween in West Hollywood. And he... Oh. Uh. Hey! <laughs> uh, all right, so, gosh, Jack and I are just talking about Denver and... Yeah. You're very excited. Well, I told him I know that uh, later on in my life I'd probably end up there. I like it there a lot. Yeah, I I heard the conversation, and it sounded like you said, I'm going to end up spending the rest of my life at Buco de Beppo. <laughs> yeah, and then that was wrong. I didn't mean that. I meant in Denver, but Jack actually said he'll be spending the rest of his life working at Buco de Beppo. Probably. You can come work for me at Fiorini if you want. It's small, but it doesn't He pay. won't remember he hired you. <laughs> right, I'll show up my little apron. Yeah, right. nothing. Just don't show up before noon. <laughs> nothing. By the way, Wolfgang Puck told me you always have to wear an apron because you can just use it for cleaning off stuff, which kind of scared me, but you can also pick it up and use it as a hot pad. You always have to have an apron. I have an apron. It says Rubio's on it. I stole it. Very nice. <laughs> it gets confusing for the customers. Mine has a spray paint of a hot chick's body. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, the, you know that. the cook. You know that T-shirt yeah. that looks like a bathing suit. <laughs> Mine's a tuxedo. Anyway, so we're talking about the SS Michael, and as I was driving in, I was listening to our best of, and I realized <laughs> you screwed up. This oh, so smoking hot. Do you remember what he looked yeah, like? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, and unfortunately, this again was. No, he's two drinks away from being a girl. He's so pretty. He is pretty. <laughs> And so, unfortunately, uh, there you go. It was one of those guys that he called like five, four months ago, and I was with Builder Bob, and I was right. like, you know what? Can't call him. Back. I didn't even call him back. That's so sad. well. It's nice that you didn't learn the evil ways of FP, right? While you were with someone else. I know I did that because that was a fair amount of abuse you took. Respectfully. Remember when we called him at five in the morning and kind of startled him and then accused him of being with a girl? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Yeah, those were the good old days. I don't think we ever called this guy and didn't startle him. I don't think he's even home or has a voicemail. No, he's home. I can't take your call right oh, now. Oh, he sounds Please sexy still. I'll call you back as soon as possible. <laughs> don't Thanks, say anything. I won't. I, won't. I saw you preparing. I won't. Or just wait I for saw the a prepared I statement. The numeric page. Not one thing Press about the diapers. Press now. <laughs> It was Halloween. Right. I'm the one who told Hi, you. Hi, Michael. Oh, oh, please record hell, your I, voice message. That was good because that was when a little you gravelly. Anyway. I won't you say anything about the diapers. Or press pound for more options. I promise. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Jack, would you like to say hi? Hi. So, Michael, remember when you called me, I don't know, four or five months ago, something like that? Well, and I didn't call you back. Um, Well, I'm calling you now. Right. She's just late. <laughs> And not that kind of late. Don't be scared. Right. Well, right. We didn't do that. Right. Right. We just did the other. That, yeah. Right. right. Anyway, how are nothing? <laughs> Have you been? What else, Jack? I forget. Um, I, uh, Jamie's been busy. Right. Sorry, Very you, busy. Very busy. But she'd love to get together and catch up. Right. Love to get together and catch up. Right. Right. And not mustard. Right, right. Oh, and going to Havasu this uh, next weekend. Love to invite you to come on oh. down to Havasu. Uh, you know what? You go to Havasu. You could go to Denver. It all depends. <laughs> I 
Are you going to be ornery again today? Yes. Oh, no. That was exhausting yesterday. <laughs> the further away from the bottle I get, the more I get like this. Jack, were you privy to uh, a river dancing rapping session? That was awesome. <laughs> I was tired, though. So there's this. Jamie thought you'd be an ass. That's what happened. No, let me start by saying that you were an ass to Bob. Bob who? Oh, Bob? Bob, the I new like guy. Bob. Bob, the new employee. Bob. Why was I an ass to him? Because you, you're like, oh my, you have like that, that Alzheimer's. No, I just don't remember being an ass. Anything you say right now, Bob, is fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Bob, <laughs> you're killing me. you funny. You know, remember you kept that's heckling the, him? That's kind of our way. <laughs> On the show. Please. I felt bad for Bob because he doesn't know us yet. And so in the, the <laughs> office, you're just like, he could, wow, Bob, you have anything to say? Well, he was just sitting there like he was terrified. I was trying to warm him up. He's new and he's 12. I thought he was somebody's kid. I know. He's I thought not. I was bringing your quiet kid to work day. <laughs> I did the same thing. Uh, some very important guy here. I thought it was his son, so and then he I. got all mad because he's not old enough, enough to have, to a, have son. a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's like 19, and he just moved here. So I'm trying to. I don't know why. Like. Bob needs some friends, so I'm helping him out because he's just a sweetheart. And See, I thought he was being kind of rude. No, he's shy. He wouldn't answer you. When? Whenever you would talk to me, just go. <laughs> Remember what you said? A mumblation? Yeah. A mumblestation? Something like that, yeah. A mumblestationist or whatever. It's like conversation. Oh, right, right, right. What'd you say? <laughs> I a said it's very nice having a mumblation with you. Yeah. Now you remember? Am I bringing it back? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned about something. What? Well, you know how the, the post office, uh, what do you think of when you work at a post office? Uh, shootings. Thank you. Right. So everybody, you know, it's a thing. It became a thing. How did it become a thing? Because it was in the news. <laughs> Is it now, do you really think it if you work there or do you think it if you don't work there? I think everybody just has that joke in their head. Yeah, or like he went postal. postal right. right. I don't know what is going on in the world, but it seems like every damn day in my jack pack, I like that new day. <laughs> that Jack gives me some kind of story about a school teacher, a female school teacher, mm -hmm. having sex with a young child. Okay, and this I want a Jack pack if they're that good. <laughs> this one's I pay for mine. <laughs> oh, hot blonde. The, yeah, you see her yeah, she's, she's like really she's hot. She's smoking like, hot. She's cute. Wow. Yeah, I don't get it. So well, the kid does. But this is nasty. He's fourteen. Oh, That's bad. Yeah. Oh. He's the stud on campus, yeah, by the way. Yeah, that's true. There is no 14-year-old stud at campus. They're, they're like, no, they like get that weird hair, and, and they're all smelly. I'm telling you, it's so <laughs> it's so different for boys than girls. It, had you said a male teacher was with a 14-year-old female student, we'd all be repelled. I'm not that upset. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's a thing. Yeah. It's becoming yeah. a thing. Well, is it? Well, or is Jack just weird and hunts uh, them down? It's Demi Moore's fault. This whole Ashton Kutcher thing started <laughs> it, and now chicks, they all, this woman was only like 23, so that's her younger. Wow. Well, I have to tell you, I, by the way, dated the SS Michael before the Demi Moore thing, right? Right. right. Yeah. You were ahead of the curve the I whole beat, time. Okay? I was all about that. And Jason, right? I was ahead of my time. My God. <laughs> uh, anyway. It's, You're like the Mozart of dating. You're I'm, just ahead of your time. Demi followed me when she heard about yeah. Jason and the SS Michael. <laughs> and then Builder Bob was almost too old. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, One of her boyfriends actually wore diapers. That's how young she oh, got. Oh, at Halloween. You know, I pitched the Halloween angle Halloween angle the whole time you were still seeing him. I know. I just didn't want to. You wouldn't listen to me. I know. So now the sh diaper's on the other cheek. <laughs> that doesn't work. Yeah, but that is the shoe's on the other foot. Anyway, so here's the deal. I know a couple, I know a lot of school teachers. My father's a school teacher, my aunt's a school teacher. Uh, uh, Lars and Luna Larson, uh, she's a she's a school Fun teacher. Fun to say. Yeah. Um, I believe Builder Bob's mom was a, a school teacher as well. All really great, nice people that would never in their life. I mean, it's like, it's such a sickening, disgusting, not even possible thought. So then, but then I read these, like, what's going on? 
Horny teachers? No, no I know here. teachers. They're not horny. Right. What do you mean? <laughs> They're not. She was a newlywed. Yeah. yeah she oh was, yeah, she's all. She's yeah, a train wreck. Weird thing. Yeah. But she's like really, really, really beautiful. And uh, that Mary Kay Materno wasn't bad looking. Yeah. And what was her deal? I know, because that Villy kid was not that attractive. No. <laughs> and stupid too. And stupid. So uh, yeah. Um, She's being held in jail. Uh, apparently, is 14 years old, and uh, she did it twice in the in the last month. But she, um, uh, uh, she did she just do the the H2? Oh, I didn't. Okay, well it says H2, and I don't. I have, uh, right. It's just, I mean, he's 14. I can't like it turns my stomach. It really does. It's just so nasty. He's just he now that kid is truly a child. Yeah. Do you think he's jacked up for life? Well, you know, no, I think he gets to brag for yeah, life. Yeah, see, right. Um, anyway, he, she, yeah, sorry, was arrested at her home after the 14-year-old boy told his mom. Oh, wow. might not be too happy. Wow. That's interesting. He went home and said, hey, Ma, <laughs> I got extra credit. <laughs> she has no prior arrest record. She's an outstanding member of the community. She's lived here all her life. We'll have to see what happens as we conduct the investigation. Maybe he's lying. Wait, did she say he didn't do it? She hasn't made any statements. Oh. She's in jail. Oh. <laughs> Getting her groove on. You'd think there's some kind of, you know, you don't, they don't put you in jail, I don't think, if there's just kind of random, like, yeah. I don't know. It's like a serious thing with school teachers. Uh, maybe they do. I mean, she's got to make bail. Yeah, she hasn't. It's 15 grand. Anyway, here's my, my thought to you, my question we to you. We should bail her out. Uh... <laughs> Uh, why? Because she's your fantasy girl? <laughs> Ew, no. Oh, why? Just to be fun. Um, here's my question. You know, we have the going postal thing. We know all about it. What do we What do we call this thing? The teachers that have a, uh, um, you know, what, what is that? Going elementary. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and germs, what you've been waiting for. Just off a two-week stint at Helen's Trailer Park and Bar. Coming to you from Southern Illinois, where the Hoodals rape the chickens and no, no one cares. cares. That's right, me kids, because he loves... It's Bob White! Yay! Yay. I may have camping questions for your dad. Oh, he'll have the answer. Good. Hi. Wow, that was fast. Hi. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. How are ya? I'm great out here where the Hoodals rape the chickens and... and no, no one cares! cares. It's a beautiful morning here. It's the lower cast, 56 degrees, and I have had my toast and my orange juice. My feet are propped up. I'm sitting on the front deck watching <laughs> baby birds being fed by mom and dad bluebirds. Oh, yeah. By the way, my dad made this really cool birdhouse yeah. where you can actually uh, flip up the, the lid and look down and see the baby birds in it, there. That was a lot of information right there. I know what the weather is in Illinois. Yes. I know what he's had to eat. Mm. And I actually know what position his body is in and what he's looking at. Isn't that interesting? That was a ton of info right there, Bob. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah. And now Danny uh, has some some uh, camping questions for you, Dad. I'm ready. All right, I'm going camping immediately after this show to Superstition Mountain in Mesa, Arizona. I've heard of it. Okay, good, good, good. It's supposed to be haunted and stuff. It's you, got some legends. Number one, take a Ouija board with you. Very nice. Oh, that's yeah. a great That'd idea. Fun. Although, you know what? I wonder if Gretchen's loosened up on that. No. She used to not allow those in the house. I don't know. Because they were we satanic. Talk to Bob and ask him. Well, take uh, tarot cards then. <laughs> okay, much better. No, I'll take the Ouija. That sounds really fun. Yeah, all right. All right. First of all, I'm taking a big Winnebago, the kind where the wall slides out and makes it even bigger. Sure. Do you consider that camping? Do I consider it? No, God, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. No, that's. <laughs> That's a hotel on wheels. No, it is. No. That's luxurious no. travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm going to a place with like a pool and a restaurant and a billiards room. <laughs> no, 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 no. What you well, all you need is your basic Volkswagen with um, a piece of canvas that you can tie to one side of it and stake down to the ground, and you roll your sleeping bags out from under it. And you eat cans of Spam for four days. I think that's what my dad and mom did. When yeah. They were, you, you know what your dad and Isn't Ronald that Reagan right, dad? have in common? Yeah. Didn't you and mom did that? And you had a Volkswagen where you could see the ground? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought Bottom so. The floor rotted up. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ronald Reagan and what? What Ronald Reagan and your dad have in common? What? They are just real men. 
Bob White that's is a fun. real man. Oh, Dad, that's, that was a nice little compliment. That is. That yeah. is. That's a very nice thing to that's, say. That's and, a nice compliment. Yeah, well, okay, you're right. <laughs> so, so here's my last question, because I want to get into what's happening in your life. Oh, okay. It's 105 degrees when I called yesterday, 110 degrees. Do, yes. do fish bite in that kind of uh, uh, temperature? Do they just kind of hibernate? 105 degrees. My idea on that camping trip is stay home then. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. I, you know, there's no need to torture your family. Oh, camping yes, there is. You don't know fun. them. <laughs> Camping's got to be fun. It, it should not be an endurance. <laughs> an endurance I've challenge. I've done that before. Well, you know what, Dad? Speaking of which, Jack has been forced to go uh, to a cabin in Kentucky, as you know. <laughs> yes. And he's not interested in going at all. He would rather stay home, and he's made it quite clear. And then uh, his family on the other side, you know, it's his wife's family. They say that he's making fun of their, their Kentucky their people. heritage yeah. or something. Mm. Yeah, but here's my question, Dad. Uh, How would they know the difference if they're from Kentucky? How could they tell when they're being made fun of? I, 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 first of all, that's a great fallacy. Is everybody funnier than us today? Yes. Jack, your dad. I know, I know. Dad, here's the question. Uh, you know, he's yes. going to Lake Cumberland. Yes, beautiful do, spot, beautiful. Do, do they have gars in that lake? Gars? Yeah. You know, I don't know if they have gars or not, but the problem is with that lake, to be very honest with him. Is he, going, is he going there for the for like 4th of July weekend? Uh, a little bit past that, yeah. That lake is so popular. Oh. It, it will be so crowded with houseboats, he won't believe it. Oh. They're just wall to wall. You can walk from one side of the lake to the other. It's dang near, yeah. Wow. And, and the, but the water is incredibly clear. The area is just pristine as hell, but... There are just so many people oh. from the West Coast that come in. Now, Jack, it was don't Jack. Blame me for don't blame me. Jack doesn't want to be there, Dad. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> He's sorry. <laughs> I got a motorhome. You got a cabin. Neither one of us are camping in Bob's world. Hey, you know, I uh, what, what's that? The the chopper shop or whatever? You know where they cut down motorcycles? West on? Coast shoppers. Yeah. Shoppers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you buy the motorcycle. What are you, stupid? Well, I kind of bought my dad, the, you know, as I told you, the pimped out ride for Southern right, Illinois. Right. Oh, that's such a bitching car. Yeah. How's that going, Dad? Is it, is it well, getting you any uh, I'll action? Well, um, I, I have about 204 miles on it right now. Yeah. I haven't had to put uh, any uh, gas in it. Wow. Uh, What's it called? I don't even know what I bought. It's called a Super Sport Roadster. It's, uh, to right. me, it looks... It looks, it, it's called a Roadster. It's what it's licensed as, but it's a Roadster on a, I guess, a Carvet frame. I, I, I don't know anything about mechanical. All I know is it looks great from here to, to Helen's Tavern. And, back. <laughs> and it's bright, bright, bright red. It's nice. Bright red. I mean, like crazy red, like neon red. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's loud. It's loud, yeah. Yeah, it says, here comes Bob. That's correct. And, <laughs> You know, it's it's not normally the type of uh, vehicle a man of uh, my uh, <laughs> girth. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it next time I'm out there. I'll let my shadow fall on you. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. No, uh, it, it's um, it's a little too sportsy. You know, it's, it's very sportsy. It's the kind of thing a guy who's 30 years old and divorced again, and he's out there looking for chicks, you know? Yeah. Okay, I guess we're all going to go get one. Yeah. Now, what kind of man complains when their daughter buys him a $42,000 car? I was wondering oh. about that myself. Well, let's see. I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you said it's now, not your cup of tea. Well, I would have bought something more like, oh, maybe a refurbished ambulance that might take your life. That's know? what we're afraid of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or if I remember you even had that, that page bent on that old fire truck. Yes, I did. Oh. Yes, See, I did. you know what your daughter's trying to... 1930, 1939 Lafayette. You know oh, what? That's hot. Here's the thing, Bob, and, and, and this is why Jamie got you this wonderful truck instead of like the ambulance or the fire truck. She's <laughs> trying to make your twilight years not so Stupid. <laughs> it's inevitable, though. I'm very close to Kentucky. <laughs> I'm very close to Lake Cumberland. Jack, you'll love it there. But, Dad, I'm just trying to, like, give you a later-in-life, midlife crisis. You are. And, you know, I, I was out with, with Cookie Lady, one of my Cookie Ladies, and, and I noticed she kept playing with her hair. Women tend to play with her hair. You yeah. ever notice that? Yeah, yeah, sure. And I said, well, why do you... Play with your hair so much. And she looked at me very seriously and said, because they don't have balls. 
Well, now that wow. is she meant he wow. meant basketball. Right. Men play basketball. Duh. Where's your mind? God, you're stupid. You are stupid. Yes, yeah, then. By the way, Dad, uh, bringing that up, there was. I a, guess they're gonna slice that one out. Uh, huh? No, just no, act, too late now. Dad, just talk about it like it's basketballs and we're fine. Oh, they they are basketball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can make a hole in one with her. Uh, yeah. All right, All right, Dad, we got to go now. Oh, your, time, your time is up. Oh, my God. Well, I see where I put that license. Yeah, Dad, no, really. You got to stop, really. I stopped. Okay, thank All you. Right. Yeah. Yes, I, I do want to get a bad reputation. All right. Too yes. late. Yeah. Hey, uh, now, do you know, I know that my sister, uh, your daughter, uh-huh. uh, set up an email. Do you know if it's up and running yet? I I think it's a work in progress. Okay, work in progress. Pretty soon you can actually contact Bob. That's wow. awesome. Mm, yeah. yeah. I have bait questions. Bait questions. Oh, yeah. uh, well, that'll be all right. Jack has bitch questions. <laughs> oh, I can handle those. I handle those. <laughs> all right, but, Dad, we need to go. Is there anything else you wanted to, to leave us with? Well, I, the biggest thing is you can't get out of this world alive. So learn to love life, for Pete's sake. Enjoy it. Otherwise, you're gonna die. Yep. Otherwise, you're so dead. Have a lot of fun. But you know, if he just stopped, listen, he... listen to Jamie and Danny uh, every day and enjoy it. Right. And and forget about getting a really nice super sports truck. Get yourself an ambulance <laughs> or, or a fire truck. truck. You know, I'll buy that thing off you for 22 G's right this second. <laughs> oh, well. No, you can't get them. They're limited edition. That's why I'm gonna buy his. I know. He said I'll drive it out to L.A. and sell it for uh, over sticker. Mike, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, if they pay the gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta add that on. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's such a cool car. It's convertible it is, truck. It the is bitch. a dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. is a dude. You push the button, the whole top collapses down like a sardine. Don't can. you wish chicks were like that? Well, I don't know. Like a sardine can. Yeah, some are. The gals, the gals I run into out at Helen's, you know, um, uh, they're they're a little different. They're they're more into the beat up pickup truck coon dog type of thing. No, that's know. true. It is true. Nobody drives that. I mean, like, dad, my dad has, like, the nicest cars, and he's very uncomfortable with it. Really? Well, it's, uh, you know, at Helen's you are, yeah. Yeah. You know, Helen's, Helen's crowd is is a little more folksy, more of the Lake Cumberland <laughs> social club. <laughs> I know, you know, Jack, there's a Lake Cumberland social club. Oh, really? He'll fit, yeah, he'll fit right in. Uh, there, what right? does he need there? What does he need there? Yeah. Well, let's see. You mean for clothing attire? Well, I, I know that you sent him something. I haven't given it to him yet because I just got the packages last night. Oh, okay. But I don't know if we want to tell him yet. Jack, well, my dad I... sent you party favors for all your friends in oh, Kentucky. Yeah. Well, oh, nice. uh, no, I'm not going to tell him what it is, but you need you need to give it to him before he goes. Oh, I will, yeah. Jack, definitely. And, and present it because it's... You know, he didn't invite me to his wedding, but yeah. I still sent him a wedding. Present. I know you did, Dad. That was it must have got caught in the mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause <laughs> you're really good. There was, Dad, it. there was a monkey and uh, was that Gary little... Gary Coleman. And Gary Coleman. There was? Yeah. What did he do? Which one? And anyway, okay, we're gonna. Get, well, that wasn't you, Dad. There's a time warp. Yes. All well, right. Remember the little, a yeah, little. Yeah, we're in the new millennium. You remember the little black kid on uh, what's it called? I remember it. Different strokes. strokes. Different yes. strokes. Yeah. I remember him. He, no, he meant what did he do at Jack's wedding? Oh, he he uh, married them. No. Yeah, Swear to God. He did. Really? Yep. Isn't that a hoot? <laughs> it really was a it hoot. It was a hoot. It was a hoot of a night. Yeah, it was Man, fun. Man alive. Yeah, because that's what happens when you get a chick knocked up. Gary Coleman marries you. Really? It's yep. a lot out here. Yeah. Well, I'll never have to worry about that. <laughs> All right, Dad, we got to go. Well, just remember. Uh, Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> That's all. Just okay. Remember. All right. We'll remember. You can't Love get you, Dad. Out of this life. Okay. All right. Love life. All right. Yep. We'll bye, talk- bye. bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that uh, Jack and Stench and myself will be uh, in uh, Denver. Denver at um, <laughs> Market 41 tonight. Yeah. We're going to be at Market 41 tonight. I'm wondering if that old guy that I used to date, if he. Uh, hmm. Might recycle everyone. Yeah, you're busy. <laughs> what Denver guy did you pick? It's the guy with. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> way back. You know what? You pick way too many little things to throw you off, guys, as you may have noticed by now. I like that guy until my friend said, well, my p- old partner who wasn't my friend said he laughs like, like that. And, and, uh, and then I couldn't stop watching it. Right, but. And now you're thinking recycle. You have to look before you date. What does that mean? 
Well, you find one little thing wrong with them and then write them off completely. I didn't find it. My partner found it, and then everybody it was a thing, and then he told everybody to watch for it, and then everybody watched for it. And did he do it? Yes. (laughs) And then I became fixated on it, and then every time he'd laugh, I couldn't stop. (laughs) I I couldn't. It was so awful. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. (laughs) Now I'm in. Uh, anyway, so uh, Jack Stench and myself, we're going to be at Market 41 like starting at 10 o'clock tonight. And yes. um, and I, I think we might be dancing, Jack. So get out your dancing okay. shoes, your capizios. Do you have dancing shoes? Oh, He's got... I have capizios. I yeah. them already. What are capizios? Those are soft, uh, soft-sold, uh, little, like little uh, pot de beret type. Uh, what was that guy on white? Uh, white? Uh, Christmas? Christmas? Yeah. How'd White, you know? White Nights. Wow. That was a great movie. Yeah, yeah. You got your Barishnikov shoes. Or your Gregory Hines. Right. Yeah. Depending on who you dance like. If you dance like Robert. Yeah. You're white. <laughs> <laughs> I love Robert. Me too. Wish Robert would help me with David Odaka, but that's a different issue. Who's David Odaka? It's all star travel guy. Oh, I thought it was another dating guy. No. Robert gets all the great trips, but me? I just need some help. All of a sudden, these people came to me. I need a ticket, right? Uh, that would be $4,000. I'm like, no, it won't. To go to Denver? <laughs> no, to, oh. to go to, to overseas. And then Monica's like, do you ever notice that they just like start charging? And then tomorrow, it'll be like $200. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. I can't understand how travel agents work. Me either. That's really weird. It really is. But I know that Gretchen used to work at a certain car rental place, uh-huh. and there were no actual prices. Yeah. You'd just, just come kinda... in and you'd see a family that you thought could afford a lot, and you'd go, well, that's $70 a day. And they'd take it or not take it, and the insurance, they'd take it or not take it. And the next people would come in, and you'd think, no, we'll never get that. So it's $40 a day. There were no real prices. Well, you know what's really embarrassing is that I I told my girlfriends, oh, no problem, I'll... I'll uh, you." You know, because we do all our uh, star lounges, world tours. We got connections. Well, they used their travel agent in San Dimas who used all their miles so she didn't get paid. Right. And she totally worked on their deal. And I'm like, no, Robert's going to help me out with this all-star travel. I, we, we do our star world tours. <laughs> like a big shot. Dude, don't Bit you me hate in that? The ass. I was kind of a big shot to my own family. I said, you want to, honey, I think you should go see Lenny Kravitz in, in Vienna. I'll, don't worry, I'll work it out. I went down to the boss's office. I said, listen, I'm doing all this. And I'm doing that for you. And I'm doing this for you. Why don't we just send Gretchen and let her go on the Star Lounge World Tour? And he just went, hmm, nope. Just like that. <laughs> like, no even discussion. Just no. But don't you all hate when you try to be like, hey, yes. I, hey, hey. And then they're in San Dimas going, uh, hey, we already got our tickets. <laughs> that happened to me. Jamie is really connected. That happened to me at clubs in New York all the time. Those good clubs in New York where you stand outside and the guy picks you. Yeah. I said, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm in the morning radio here. And we just stood in the street like losers. I have a question. Jack, have you ever tried to be connected with anything? Yesterday. <laughs> really? Well, bitchin'. But yeah, it ended up I didn't need it. But I went to sign my, my daughter up for swim classes at the Burbank pool. I'm right. Well, I guess to get the discount, you have to be a Burbank resident. And the lady didn't believe me. And I'm trying to tell You're her. Mr. You're Mr. Burbank. You're Mr. Burbank. I didn't drop the Mr. Burbank bomb. But trust me, I talk sort of. I, you know, I'm like, I've lived here my whole life. I worked. Did you tell her where stuff was? Oh, yeah. I found <laughs> oh the my. pool, didn't I? Oh, my God. They almost denied Mr. you. Mr. Burbank almost didn't get it? Now, Did mind I... you, it would only cost me 10 bucks more. But still, but they denied principle. you citizenship, <laughs> right. Jack. Oh, my God. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I was... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but as long as you asked. Yes. Guess how what the percent of Iraqis that have confidence in their new government is. Seven. Zero. Seventy <laughs> percent. Oh. Wow. And their new government, really? Yeah, that's what it says right here. Me either. And there was if 70% they believed in it, why are they killing everybody? And I mean, well, thirty yeah. percent of people is a lot of people. That'd be a hundred million Americans. Yeah, 30% I understand that. Be. Still, it's just crazy over it there. It is crazy over there. Did you hear about that? Uh, was it yesterday? Where car bombs went off at six different spots, uh, at six different cities, and killed 100 people and injured 300. What was that whole thing about, uh, remember I told you uh, about the uh, the British are coming and and, uh, and the Redcoats and, you know. Paul Revere? Uh, no, what was I telling you? You know, the whole story is like, one, one was buttoned down and we were all very fearful and it was like the buttoned down team, but yet we like defeated them. Remember? It was that whole story I told you. I said, which one is the red coats? Which one are the... Oh, it's a long time ago. 
we were drinking, remember, at the bar. I thought it was a really oh, great point. Yeah. And you Where guys, are the red coats? You guys said, yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. I probably thought you said Red Bull and ordered another drink. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't remember what it was. It was a long time ago at the moment. It seemed like I had a point. Um, but, you know, it's just a, it's a mess over there. And it's funny because last night I was in the Save On grocery store, and they have a nice new employee there, a, a nice feller. And, um, and I had my Lakers hat on, and he said... Uh, so are you a real Lakers fan, or are you kind of a Lakers fan? And I said, I, I don't know how I feel about them. I'm torn. <laughs> My hat wearer. It's just like all torn up right now with Shaq leaving and all that stuff. And I said, I feel really bad for Carl Malone because Malone, he didn't get his ring. Oh, and, right. And then he said, yeah, that that's so sad. And, and then I looked at him. I go, but maybe. And we had a whole conversation. Well, he's dink, dink. Uh, I said, but maybe. It actually keeps him grounded because a lot of these uh, these players that make millions and millions and millions, I mean, he came to the Lakers to get a ring. Right. And he thought he was that great of a player that he just signed up to this team. So basically, this man has been given everything. Right. So maybe the fact that he can't get a, a ring, the one thing he's been striving for his entire life, keeps him grounded. Or maybe that's why he'll blow his brains out later today. But, I, you know, he has a fabulous life. He has lots of money, but he can't obtain the one thing that he thinks that he deserves and, and wants so much. And I think it keeps him grounded now, that you is, can't have everything you want. Is he too old to ever get one now? He retired. Right. Yeah. So he's never going to get one. No. Right. But I think he was counting more on Shaq and Kobe yeah. than just on himself. He thought, I'll go with all these other great players. I'll go with the team that can't miss. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. He thought he was such a great player that he knew he'd be in the starting lineup. With all those other With all players. the right. other, well, right. And, and my point is, too, is he knew he was that great that the Lakers would be like, come on, we'll put you in the starting lineup. I mean, that's a hard ticket to, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, none of us could get it. No, that's true. A lot of people, I guess percentage-wise, probably 2%. 70% of people can or can't. But, I mean, is it true that maybe if you can't obtain that one thing... Maybe it keeps you grounded. I, you know what? I think, uh, in a way, yes. I think you're right. I think because we've we've pointed out on the show a hundred times that money does not bring you happiness. Right. Look at all these famous people with all the money in the world, and they're really I mean, sickeningly un, 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 unhappy. Right. And what if he gets the ring? Like there it is. He got the ring. So does he just sit there? Oh, okay, I got the ring. You know, no. once again, I think the struggle is the thing. You know, I think the struggle to. To earn more, to do more, to provide for your family, that the struggle you have with your family to do well is the thing. I think once you've met all your goals, your life seems kind of empty. Yeah, that's why I think that. Well, I tell that's you. why you will always go on, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> How's Susan Lucci now? Because wasn't that her whole thing? She didn't win. Yeah. The first I now her career's in the toilet. Yeah, now she won it. Yeah, she's over, Jack. I don't think she's over. Yeah, she's Susan Lucci, she, of course she's over. She was over. She ago. doesn't. Erica Kane does not strive to be more. <laughs> yeah, it's Erica Kane. What yeah, are you talking about? She got her whatever the hell she got, and now she doesn't. Yeah. Luke and Laura are doing fine. Yeah, see, it's just like you know when you when you pursue a, a girl and, and then you get her, you don't want her no more. How did Anthony Geary get a career as a sex symbol? I don't know who he is. <laughs> he's uh, he's Luke. I don't know because he had a members only jacket. Remember, I mean, his hair was weird when he had it. Richard Simmons. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. If you dye his hair black, he would be Richard Simmons and put in some little shorts. Yep. Yummy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, but so then, you know, I was still talking to the Save On guy because I bought a lot of stuff. And um, I, I'm just addicted to lipstick. Self checkout. They don't That's have Save On? It. Oh, really? They don't I have it. Oh, bragger. Mr. Plus, Burbank went to tell me that Save On here has self checkout. You just stand there and stare at it. I love lipstick. It's my demise. But anyway, there's a lot of things that are my demise. Lipstick being all a part of it. Right, and I, then no one to smooch on it with once you have it on. Because uh, you keep kicking them to the curb for one little thing. Like, <laughs> 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 Anyway, so then I said to the guy, you know, we're sitting here talking about how sorry we feel for Carl Malone. And then I told him, you know, keep some grounded thing. I go, you know, there's a bunch of crap and people dying in Fallujah. This guy's making millions and didn't get a diamond ring. Oh, poor Malone. Well, I think he's in exactly the same boat. If you go over to Fallujah, there's a bunch of people who didn't get a diamond ring. But you know what I mean. Like, yes, I do, of course. Context is like, oh, my God. Well, I guess it's good not to be an Iraqi citizen right now. Oh, yeah. What was that? I remember that. That was thing. some other guy <laughs> that you couldn't date because he said that. Skippy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was Skippy. And it turns out he was right. It is damn good 
it not to be an Iraqi well, citizen right now. Well, he got all right sensitive now. on email. We were writing back and forth, and all of a sudden he got like crazy sensitive about uh, it's it's a good time not to be. I'm like, Skippy, dude, we're like drinking buddies. Like, what are you doing now? <laughs> Besides, when exactly is it a great time to be an Iraqi citizen? Right, and that's I like wrote something. He goes, oh, I see that you're not sensitive about this. I'm like, no, it's just that you and I don't talk politics, and we don't get all sensitive. We drink beer. Does he think about the Taliban when he's kite skiing? Maybe. I'll ask him. Anyway, uh, did you see in the news, as uh, speaking of people that have no clue of reality, a, a uh, Indian an Indian steel tycoon um, paid $60 million for his daughter's wedding. That's distorted. Do you know what $60 million will buy you? A Airbus A320 passenger jet. Wow. He could have had a jet instead of his uh, his daughter's wedding. He could have had 120 Lamborghini Diablos. Six, $60 million, you guys. $60 million for a wedding. I mean, I don't... $60 million homes. Yeah. That's cra- Fed a small country. Yeah. I mean, I can't even fathom spending one million. I can't even spend, you know, a hundred thousand would be a lot. I mean, it's just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's like, oh my. Although I know it's different for girls than guys. But still, I mean, that is just six. I I can't even talk. No. To, you know, because like we can't even. We don't know. I'm gonna encourage my daughter to elope. I'm gonna go to India and get me a steel tycoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yeah. Oh. First of all, it's Friday. Oh, my God. We're so excited. Yay. I love it when I find that. Uh, All right. So it's Friday. Uh, Danny's going camping. Uh, Jack and uh, Jamie and Stench are going to Denver. We're going to be at uh, Market 41. Market 41. At 19th. And Market uh, tonight from like 10 to... You get thrown out. Yeah. (laughs) We might be bad. I have kind of a feeling. We haven't traveled together in a while. Yeah. It's been a long time. Plus, the last time uh, Stench was in Denver, he was with me. And last time I was there, I was with Fancy Pants. And we were extraordinarily well behaved. And I always had to be behaved with him. So I think it's time to unload. Yeah. I so think... buckle your seatbelts, Denver. Well, last time I was in Denver, I was dodging traffic signals with my head. We were on top of that fire. <laughs> oh, charge. my God. I know. I t- didn't we- you fail at dodging those things? No, I remember, like, they didn't tell us how, how, right. how high it was. And we almost got, like, beheaded by the traffic signal. That big arm is, it's metal up there. Yeah. <laughs> my God. Anyway, uh, so that's going on this weekend. We're very excited. And then, by golly, the next weekend, hope you all are making your plans for 4th of July is the very next weekend. Yep. Uh, Jack sitting in his backyard in a lawn chair uh, with his feet in the uh, the little plastic pool. I don't think I'm doing anything. I'm going to have a suit, and I'm not have a suit ready, but I don't want right. to talk about it. Because vacation starts right after that, right? Because I'm on some yeah, kind of yeah. pill that's like Olestra or something. <sighs> don't go water skiing. <laughs> At least don't use two skis. I stopped taking it. Don't wear a G-string. You stopped taking the fat blocker? Yeah. Uh, Why? Did it have its effect? Yeah. And I don't want to talk about that either. No, you don't. <laughs> it worked. Let me, Jack, and Stench take them. Okay. That'd be fun. Uh, you don't think you... Ding. Anyway. I get to spend more time with Charlie Tuna. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, I, let's talk about something else more fun. Uh, so anyway, it's Friday. Yay. Good for us. We're very excited and good for you guys. Um, here's the deal. I have a question. If your wives... Uh, <laughs> Dench, can you come and play? Because it's a question for men and kind of one sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. He's all men all the time. Uh, he went out last night. Yeah, big no. man on campus. Yeah, because apparently the big old radio and record conventions in town, mm-hmm. which I haven't been invited back to speak at for a very long time since a bunch of women walked out of my panel. See, I have. I've been invited to this one, and I'm thinking that I must have missed it. What were you invited for? Some kind of panel. What was it? I don't know. I want proof. <laughs> Some guy named Don Anthony wants me to do it. And what was the panel? I don't know. Dumbasses in radio! <laughs> Why were you invited? <laughs> I'm the chair. Yeah. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? 
Uh, My question. Wives. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so the Radio Record Convention is in town, and, and Stench went out, and we're very proud of you. You went out. That was nice. I went out and got some drinkage on last night. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. I think that's Good the first you. time. And, and now and now you got to do like a, a two-part series because we're going to Denver. Yeah, but Denver will be fun. Radio people, I hate. <laughs> you know, I I'm, hate them. I I'm really with do. them. <laughs> I'm with them. It's really weird that we we're are all... one of them. I know. No, I hate not. us. No, yes, we're we not. Are. We are. We're, we're not. We are. We're disc jockeys who do bits, man, and we do like benchmarks <laughs> and top of the hour, dude. Coming up at seven twenty, spousal arousal. Yeah, spousal oh. arousal. That's right. Cat of cash, everybody. <laughs> Can of cash coming up. <laughs> what else do we do? I don't know. Bits. No, what are some of the other bits that everybody does in radio? Uh, phony phone calls Play coming it. up. Oh, phony Battle phone calls. Battle of the sexes. Battle of the sexes. Like, oh, that's, that's a very scary. popular one. The Battle of the sexes. <laughs> don't forget when we we'll playing that CD backwards. If you can identify, you win. That's right. Smash it or trash it or play it or make it or break it. Make it or break it. Right. Coming up at seven twenty. If it's your birthday, you could win. Yeah. <laughs> The countdown is on. Seven more days. Seven. 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 Till Hooters in Burbank. Now there we go. That, my friends, is radio. How it's supposed to be. That is high quality production. That's how it's done. That is right. All you in town, you just sit back. Because if you heard that, you're like, whoa. Blazers. No No wonder they're in L.A. They have blazers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I uh, We just have a guy going <laughs> No, we have a guy that's actually in a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Anyway, um here's my question and, and why I, I uh brought Stench in because he happens to have one of them their wives. Yeah. Can yeah. I just ask my question before you bitch at her? <laughs> Didn't say anything. But I see it on the tip of your tongue. Go ahead. Is that what that is? Yes. And there's something on his nose that looks a little brown. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Not this nose. <laughs> That's chocolate. <laughs> oh, wow. That is true. He's a fat guy. Uh, you might want to wipe that off. I'm so confused. Anyway, uh, here's the deal. If your wife asked you or told you that she'd been asked by Playboy, now a lot of you are laughing out loud in your car because it's not a possibility <laughs> in hell, um, but just pretend well, you there know are other magazines. You know why this doesn't work. Watch. You know why this doesn't work, because for a lot of you, you men, including anybody that's ever dated me, if there was a potential of me ever being in Playboy, they'd be like, yeah. <laughs> so there's not a lot of reality to right. some of this, you know. Right. I mean, okay. So let's just say mm, your wife wants to take pictures for some book. They're doing, and they're, she's completely nude, and it's about the human body. Let's not do Playboy because it's already gives the smoking. Yeah, hot. you have to be a certain description. Right. Right. Okay. So they're doing a new uh, calendar, a book, or whatever on the human body. Right. Let's say they were doing hot chicks from Peru. <laughs> There's no hot chick. They're just doing women. Okay, just chicks from Peru. <laughs> just women. And uh, what would you say? What would you let her? Sure. You'd say, oh, "I, yeah. I like well, your body." She probably have at it. Wow. There's some love there, man. <laughs> You just be like, go, see you. Yeah. All right. And what about you? Uh, hell no. I thought so. That's my booby. <laughs> that is my booby. So here's the deal. It, to me, nobody should be able to tell you no either. Right. Like, it's such a hard place because if you if you and I were married, <laughs> uh, if you and I were married, Jack, can you put that on because it drives me nuts? Thank you. Um... And you told me no, then I would, like, want to do, to do it more than ever. Then I would shame you. Fine, if you want to be a big old whore, <laughs> go ahead. All right. What's our daughter going to say? <laughs> what are you going to tell our daughter when she turns 18 and wants to pose for Hustler? But, you know, I'm just so amazed how many women let their husbands dictate what they do in life, you know, and they don't have a discussion or whatever. They just say no, and then they don't do it. It makes me, I think I have a mental illness, which is surely <laughs> possible. It makes me want to do it more. And just tell you, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. But that's one of the few things we would ever do that on, whereas she tells me what to do every day. <laughs> yeah. right. And not even important stuff like posing <laughs> nude, like what shoes to wear. You're not going to leave clothes. the house in those shoes, are you? I, there's no yeah. way. That's totally true. I mean, that's why, you know, uh, our theoretically our, tar- our target audience is women 25, 54, right? Uh, well, it's all over the place. This right, but theoretically, yeah. that's, that's what they tell us. And the reason is because they rule the world you know if they want something they go buy it if the guy wants something they go buy it you know what i mean they won't just let you go hey i'm gonna wear this outfit 
You're not going to leave the house wearing that, are you? But you just said that both people just buy them. No, the wife buys everything. Oh, the wife says, me. I'm going to wear this, and you're going to wear this. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. By the way, yesterday- Chicks are in charge. Uh, we were in the elevator, like three girls and myself and a guy, and the, the, the elevator stopped, and he had to wait and, and let us off. And I just said, this is great. Because he has to stand there and let the girls oh, off the oh, elevator oh. first. I'm like, it's so good sometimes to be a girl. Like, yeah. you have to stand there. <laughs> Which but, seemed rude. But we don't ever have to stand there with our periods. No, no, that's true, but you have to stand with, there with our personalities during it. Yeah, I, oh. very good call. Sometimes holding your purse. Yeah, so, and buying the product, <laughs> bitch. Stand in line for a price check. Jack, your, uh, your wife, the sparkles, she wants to be naked in the women in the, in the buff calendar. Yeah, not a chance in it. Okay, and what if, and I know her because she's a little bit like me, which is somebody doesn't tell me no. No, she wouldn't do it because we, she tells me not to do stuff all the time, although I ignore her. She doesn't like, you know, I'll be like, I'm going to strip at the key club. And she'll be like, no, you're not. I'm like, oh, it's just down to this. Like, she doesn't like some of the stuff I do. And but she'll tell well, me, what if she really found that like, it was an artistic yeah. moment? And yeah. Like, Yours is a humiliation. Yeah. Hers right. is art. <laughs> right. But luckily, this she's one of those religious people. She got offered Playboy a long time but ago. But just pretend. Did. Okay, let's pretend. Yeah, so did no, I. I and I said her. no. Right. Because my parents were alive. But hey, one's gone now. Yeah. Oh. And she so said, you can go topless. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but it's about 10 years later. Don't think it's good timing. <laughs> and she said no. You know what I mean? But no, I, but I, I know, Jack. Okay. But what I'm saying is, pretend I she didn't. I said no. I said no. Right. And right. she said, you're not going to tell me no. I'd still say no. Mm. And I, there's no way in hell. And then if she did it, I would, you know, I don't know. We'd have to decide that. <laughs> I'd <laughs> be <laughs> mad. Yeah, that's no, what you're I saying. Would di- I would divorce her. I you would you'd divorce not. her over posing you naked. You would not. I would, too. And I, I ain't look serious. They oh, have a kid. So? You can't let the kid grow up. How do you, My Madonna's even said she regrets all the nudie stuff now that she's got kids. But she did it. But yeah. this is Jack. He's so happy to right. even have a girl talk to him. But he's Jack, <laughs> yeah. and Jack is a, a man of principle. Oh, my God. Uh, and holds me. grudges for ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. And, uh, and I would. I would stick by it just you to would? stick by it. Oh, yeah. By the way, it has been... Uh, Come to our attention, and Jack, just so you know what people are saying behind your back, that before <laughs> you were like this, uh, well, we said pathetic, pathetic guy that just wow. like held on to like, oh my God. But now that that you have the baby and stuff, it's given you way more confidence in the chick yeah. department. It, it has. Like you you would kick the bitch to the oh, curb. Yeah. You almost <laughs> strut. Yeah. No, we're just like he's so much. Like who knew that Jack really wanted a family right. to make him? Like, I didn't know that. I thought he person. wanted a drink. I did too. Yeah. I thought you wanted to like sing that song. My girl likes to party all the time. Party all the time. Yeah, because he breaks <laughs> he breaks out the Eddie Murphy tunes all the time. Well, I even did the dance move. <laughs> hey, we can do that tonight. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, if you're at Market 41, load up the Eddie Murphy tunes, and don't forget Don Johnson's big hit. Yeah. What was that one? What was that? Oh, oh I have it. Heartbeat. Yeah. Looking for, Looking for a, a heartbeat. heartbeat. <laughs> By the way, coming up at 7.20, and it's four minutes late. Oh, da, 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 da. That's that all it. we know? Well, that was really all there There's was. A Don John- the last thing Don Johnson did that was interesting is get caught at the border with $800 million. I would load it up for you guys, but it'll lock up my computer for five minutes to try and get Aww, it. Oh, uh, Jack, you're no fun. And and by the way, thanks for showing all the people at R&R that that system doesn't work. They all have profit, too. I mean, <laughs> oh, we're do. all the same company. Hey, <laughs> if your profit system doesn't work either, give us a call. <laughs> 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 by the way, what we're talking about is all these uh, radio and record people are in town, and there's these... Certain pieces of equipment, just like if you work wherever you work, you know, right. everybody knows that the profits. It's a Do you know it was in here for a year before I t- realized they weren't talking about money? <laughs> oh, the profits? Yeah. Just, oh, that's funny. I swear to God, for a year, I just assumed we were talking about money. Wow. We're on the profit system here. Good, good. I need to not be on the profit right, system. Right, right. Not the debt system. That'd be bad. So you divorce her for posing naked? Yes. Wow, that's wild. I, I didn't marry a woman who posed nude. I, I wouldn't have. If I, I didn't marry out. a redhead with a nice nose. You also didn't marry a woman <laughs> who had a baby come out of her cooch. Right, but that's my baby. I wouldn't yes, have married her if it was something else. But still, baby. think about it. I mean, there's something like it was crawling out of there, Jack. Right, but it was mine. <laughs> my cooch, Allegedly. my baby. Right, as far as we can figure. But it's also, your, you know, your wife's body. Right. And she can pose with it if she'd like. No, you know it's what? Jack's. Wait a uh, in my case, it is not necessarily my wife's body. I bought the best parts of it. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, right, so maybe that's why you allow it, because her parts aren't really her parts. Right, they're my parts. Right. right. No, I mean, like, they're they're fake, so maybe they're, like, there's something to be said. Because there is, we've talked about how women with fake breasts show to everybody. show them, absolutely. So maybe if your wife has real breasts, you don't want her to my be. My wife would be so much more likely to show you her breasts than her hair extensions where they're tied in. <laughs> that's private. <laughs> Uh-huh. You know, I just got all ghetto, okay? <laughs> you also got all crazy. Uh, no, I just didn't. Uh, well, let's not talk about anything gross. I just didn't want you to touch my mirror. You put it in my hand. No, you said, let me see that. And you, and you put it in my hand. But then I didn't want you to squeeze stuff on I it. wasn't squeezing your stuff. Your right hand was attached to your nose. Am I wrong? Yeah, he looked like he was attempting. Yeah, No, thank I you. just wanted to see because oh. I, I get blackheads here, which you pointed out on an airplane once. Well, you had one gnarly one. It was gnarly. It was huge. By the way, uh, that's one of the nice things at the BHSI, uh, Beverly Hills uh, Surgical Institute. Um, for, what, what is it? 411 BHSI, right? Yeah. Uh, here's the deal. They have this thing, and it's called a microdermabrasion. You right? should go yeah, there. my wife does that. You should do it, too. Men should do this. I've done it. Because they don't know the blackheads they have going on on their nose. And basically, it sucks and buffs. Oh, you, oh it doesn't uh, hurt at all. Is it pitching? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. It feels now, like a massage. Did you do it on purpose? No, Jamie took me. And uh, they show you the filter after yeah. with all the stuff that came off your face. And it looks like like tar pits in this yeah. thing. You're like, <laughs> oh. You really, I mean, men especially, because women are very conscious about blackheads. Right. Men aren't. They think like it's some kind of... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hair. Yeah. <laughs> but if you get that done, that uh, it's the microdermabrasion. It's just, it's so cool. I'm actually, I was looking at the paper today. I'm thinking about a high colonic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about this stuff anymore. It's nasty. <laughs> you have a lot of things you don't want to talk about today. Uh, that's the, well, they all go in the same bunch. We've been talking about a little pile of them. Uh, <laughs> Um, I was gonna tell you something else. What the hell was it? Oh my god, it was it was what you brought up right before we, we were talking about, about lasers and laser oh, yeah, gray yeah. hair. Thank you. So um uh Stench wants to oh my god, we're still talking about nasty stuff. If he gets a a pubic hair that is gray, right, he's going to have it lasered off. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'll laser all of them off. I will be like a bald chicken. And I said to <laughs> him, You think you want that, but you don't. Here's the deal. Laser is amazing. I'm, my girlfriend, Alina, has it done and uh, had it done. What does she have done? She had her legs done, and she never has to shave again ever. It's amazing. That's awesome. It is amazing. And I'm going to have it done. I just, you know, I haven't uh, haven't got the mojo yet to, to do right. that. But it, she never has to shave again ever. Right. Her legs look awesome. I mean, you know how sometimes you shave and you could still see, like, the follicle or whatever? Mm-hmm. Um, she, they just, like like, closed up or something. I'm going to do my butt. Anyway, well, who hasn't? <laughs> I anyway, here's the deal. Uh, I was reading in a magazine. I didn't even think about this. That if you do your pubic area, you have to picture that area hairless when you're 80. <laughs> That's so hot. Because it never <laughs> comes back. Right. <laughs> so you have to picture whatever you decide to laser. The hair is gone forever, and you don't get to decide. And could be, and you know, when you're 80 years old, what if the big muff comes no. back? Okay, but hold on. <laughs> And what if it's muff mania? Okay, but picture you're 30, let's say it happens in like three years, and I'm 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 39 years old, and I got the Jay Leno look down there. Kind of dark with the big gray stripe. Wow, all I saw was a weird chin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he's got that gray stripe. Yeah, if you see a chin down there, it's a good death. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all I know is a chin. Yeah, I gotcha. So like, that's no better. Like a skunk, right? Yeah, you got the skunk cut going on. At the, in your 30s or just being kind of weird and bald in your 80s? I think that we... There's got to be a happy medium. You just don't know what's going to come back in style. And when you're 80, you want your yeah, Netherlands to look like hip and hop. But, <laughs> now, if you're going to the extremes of being lasered, can't you also go to the extremes of having it put back? Didn't Michael Jackson have his whole face oh. done and then had whiskers put in? Oh, that Remember looks... those pictures of him with the goatee? And wouldn't that look weird? The rose? You know how men get the... the, 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 the doll the... hair. Yeah. No, no, what? Implants. Yeah, the hair plugs, they look like doll hair. They do, you're right. And so having that down in your pubic area... <laughs> I think any guy <laughs> worrying about his pubic area is just weird. Well, that's your friend, Stench. I don't want great pubes. What's the difference? Nobody's going to see him but your wife, theoretically, and Jack. I run around here <laughs> naked all the time. <laughs> That's true. Okay, you've got me there. Have we even done the first calls of the day? No, but you know what? what? I've thrown the tiniest bit. Why? I don't mean to pick on you, Who? but Tracy, yeah? Vicky, the tall Vicky, nothing. 
That's what you did. Absolutely nothing. She stares at us like like we're the biggest freaks in the whole world without cracking a smile even once. Oh, she didn't get the rule book? This. Happy morning show? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Oh. We're funny, damn it. <laughs> Did you not tell her the rules? Like every happy every. morning show face, right? Suicidal tendencies. Also, <laughs> Stench put the big thing down his pants and was going, "Look at this." And I said, "Oh, by the way, Tracy, you're not allowed to sue for sexual harassment." To normally we get, "Yeah, okay." She said, "I never signed that." I know. And then that's why I said, "Stench, you might want to stop." Everybody, be cool. Tracy's in the room. And he said, "I'm not acting like it's a penis. I'm just acting like it's a bat down my pants." <laughs> Oh, and then you're fine. <laughs> Again.